Being a $10 million employee is not going to be enough because sooner or later something bad's going to happen to your career. Actually, many times bad things are going to happen to your career, more often than not. And so the second key to superstar career is you have to learn how to transform setbacks into comebacks because you're going to have a lot of setbacks in your career. So you have to learn how to deal with those. I, I, there was a fellow by the name of Alex Zanardi who is a race car driver or was a race car driver. This is a perfect example of someone who's been through more setbacks and comebacks than you will ever have. At age 13, he built his first race car and started racing him. He started winning right away. Race after race after race after race. But then boom, he had an accident. Broke a leg, broke an arm, broke something and went to the back of the pack. Got back up, started all over again, started racing again. Boom, 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 started winning right off the bat. Boom, this guy could do no wrong. Bam, had another accident. Got fired, lost his job. Had to go to a friend's house to, to live because he couldn't afford to live on his own. And then he joined the uh, formula circuit and he lost 41 times. Now imagine that. Let's say you've gone to try to get a job and you get rejected 41 times. You gonna come back for the 42nd? Would you have come back for the 32nd? No, and this guy lost 41 times. But then he went, he said, no, no, I'm gonna storm into a new future and I'm gonna go back into the cart circuit and I'm gonna be a champion again in the cart circuit. That's what he told himself and that's what he decided he was gonna do and he started like big time. He won back-to-back -back championships in 1997 and 1999. And then, in 2001, he's the leader of the pack in a, in a racetrack in Germany. He's got 13 laps to go, and he can smell the victory. All of a sudden, he loses control of his car, starts careening wildly out of control, and a car goes, bam! 200 miles an hour smashes into him, slices his car in half, and with it, both of Alex Zanardi's legs. Have you ever heard this guy? Heard about this guy, by the way? Some of you have. Now, about now, do you think you, from all these setbacks, you think you might have given up? It's not a trick question. Advisors look the other way. Would you have given up after all of this? Most people would have. And you think you'll ever have anything as bad in your career as happened? You'll, you get rejected 41 times, you get your legs sliced off, you, get, uh, you, you think you're going to have setbacks that bad in your career? Probably not. That didn't stop this guy. It did not stop this guy. He went on and decided he was going to be a marathon, uh, a marathon champion in the uh, para hand cycling. Well, he, he, he lost his first time out. He was like fourth in the New York marathon. But then he said, I'm going to storm into another future and I'm not going to let this get me down. I'm not going to stop. And he won next time around. And then he decided, you know what? I'm not done yet. You know what the first question Alex asked himself when he lost his legs? Very first question. It wasn't, why did this happen to me? That wasn't his first question. His first question was, how can I do what I want to do in my life without legs? Imagine that. And this is what I want you to do. When you have your setbacks in your career, don't ask why. There's never any answer in why. Why is like wine. There's no answer in why. Always ask yourself how. How is a future question? Why is a past question? Alex didn't ask himself, why did this happen to me? He asked how. And then he said, and the other, next thing he said, which I thought was just really awe-inspiring, is he said, you know what? He said, I'm going to set a new horizon in my life and do something bigger than I've done before. And I'm going to use passion to get past the hardships. So he framed his setbacks in ways that empowered him, didn't he? If you sit there and whine and whine and whine and complain and complain and complain, that doesn't empower you. Alex empowered himself with his why questions, excuse me, with his how questions. How can I be this? How can I be that? Then he wasn't done. He decided he was going to be an Olympic champion. Those of you that have heard Alex's story, you know what I'm talking about. He just won the gold in 